we are given the polynomial function c of t and asked to determine the vertical and horizontal intercepts. Looking at our notes, to determine the horizontal intercepts, we set f of x or the function value equal to zero or y equal to zero and solve for x. We do this because any point on the horizontal axis has a function value or y value equal to zero. And to determine the vertical intercept, we set x or the input variable equal to zero or evaluate f of zero. And we do this because any point on the vertical axis has an x value or input of zero. The intercepts should be given as ordered pairs or because we have c as a function of t, each ordered pair is in the form of t comma c of t. And now let's begin by determining the vertical intercept of our function c of t. Because we have a function c of t, we set the input variable of t equal to zero or determine c of zero. So if we set t equal to zero, the function value is c of zero, which is equal to two times zero to the fourth minus 10 times zero cubed plus 12 times zero squared, which is equal to zero. And therefore the vertical intercept is the ordered pair zero comma zero, which is the origin. And now let's determine the horizontal intercepts. And again, because we have c as a function of t, we set c of t equal to zero and solve for t. If we set c of t equal to zero, we have the equation zero equals two t to the fourth minus 10 t cubed plus 12 t squared. And now let's solve the equation by factoring. Remember the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor, which in this case is two t squared. If we factor out two t squared, we have two t squared times the quantity t squared minus five t plus six. And now I factor the trinomial into two binomials. So we have zero equals two t squared and then times two binomial factors where the factors of t squared are t and t and the factors of positive six at either negative five are negative three and negative two giving us a factor of t minus three and a factor of t minus two. And now we set each of these factors equal to zero and solve for t, which gives us two t squared equals zero or t minus three equals zero or t minus two equals zero. Solving two t squared equals zero, we get t equals zero. Solving t minus three equal to zero for t, we get t equals three. And solving t minus two equals zero for t, we get t equals two. Because we have three values of t, we have three horizontal intercepts, where when t equals zero, the horizontal intercept is zero comma zero. When t equals three, the horizontal intercept is three comma zero. And when t equals two, the horizontal intercept is two comma zero. So notice how in this case, because the polynomial function passes through the origin, which is the ordered pair zero comma zero, the origin is both a horizontal and vertical intercept. Before we go, let's verify the results graphically. Here we have the graph of the polynomial function c of t. Notice how it does pass through the origin, which is why the ordered pair zero comma zero is both a vertical and horizontal intercept. Then we also have a horizontal intercept at two comma zero and three comma zero, which verifies our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.